In this episode, we are going to talk about the true structure of the building block of the universe called, Chakawala. Or in other words, a world system or a galaxy. How the X-shaped bulge in the center of galaxy is made of. And? Is this universe being formed only for earthlings and no extraterrestrials live out there? Without further delays let's get rolling and discover the truth. Before we talk about the locations, formations and the map of 4 trillion plus human words. Let's first discover the basic structure of a world system. In order to locate these worlds, we'll take the bulge as the center and divide this into four directions. Then, start it from planet Earth. Even though it looks complicated initially, these are basics of what Easterners know about the universe. However, we'll come to that later and let's look at the disk-shaped system first to understand the worlds located there. When the world is seen from the center, or the bulge, the front-facing surface or the visible part of this world is said to be a blunt-nosed triangle-shaped one. And this description probably echoes the shape of the coastline of India. According to the knowledge in Eastern world, this is called Jambudipa, and is located in the south, and is the dwelling of ordinary humans. The people here are 5 to 6 feet tall, and their length of life varies between 10 and beyond in each era. In addition to that, this also the birthplace for animals and the hungry ghosts call Prater. If we move towards east, we can find the world called Por Vavidea. The visible top surface of this world is shaped like a semicircle with the flat side pointing westward, towards. Its tree is acacia. The people here are about 12 feet or 3.7 meters tall, and they live for 700 years. Their main work is trading and buying materials. If we go to the north side of the disk, we can find the world Uttarakaru, and the top facing part of this world is shaped like a square. This continent's tree is called a Kaparuka or Kalpa tree, because it lasts for the entire Kalpa or an eon. The inhabitants of Uttarakaru have cities built in the air. They are said to be extraordinarily wealthy, not needing to labor for a living as their food grows by itself and having no private property. They are about 48 feet or 15 meters tall and live for 1000 years, and they are under the protection of god called Vaisravana or Vesamuni. A Paragodnia or a Paragoyana is located in the west, and the top surface that is visible from the sky is shaped like a circle. The tree of this continent is a giant Kadamba tree or burr flower tree. The human inhabitants of this continent do not live in houses, but sleep on the ground. Their main transportation is bullock cart. They are about 24 feet or 7.3 meters tall and they live for 500 years. Let's go back to the place where we started. This is the location of our planet, if we go underneath, we can find the place called, Hell. Purgatory, or in other words, Neariya, the name given to one of the worlds of greatest suffering. As with the other realms, a being is born into one of these worlds as a result of his karma, and resides there for a finite length of time until his karma has achieved its result, after which, he will be reborn in one of the higher worlds as the result of an earlier karma that had not yet ripened. The mentality of a being in the hells corresponds to states of extreme fear and helpless anguish in humans. Physically, Naraka is thought of as a series of layers extending below Jambud Vipa into the earth. There are several schemes for counting these Narakas and enumerating their torments. There are eight hot Naraka. Sanjeeva, the reviving Naraka, Kalasutra, the Black Thread Naraka, Samgata, the Crushing Naraka. Rarava the Screaming Naraka, Maharava, the Great Screaming Naraka, Tapana the Heating Naraka, Mahatapana, the Great Heating Naraka, Avici, the Uninterrupted Naraka. Each lifetime in these hot Narakas is eight times the length of the one before it. There are eight cold Narakas and their names are the Blister, the Burst Blister, the Naraka of Shivering, the Naraka of Lamentation, the Naraka of Chattering Teeth, the Naraka of Skin Becoming Blue as a Blue Lotus, the Naraka of Cracking Skin, the Naraka of Total Frozen Bodies Falling Apart. Each lifetime in these cold hells is twenty times the length of the one before it. Moreover, 
There are 16 subdivisions can be found in each level of Naraka, and according to the mix of your own unwholesome actions, you have altogether 136 places to suffer. And coming out from these ones are really hard as the gravitational force or the amount of dark matter is higher in these regions. And due to that your body is also formed according to each environment. However, let's move on to the center parts of the world system. This is called Simero or Mahamaru. In the space at the bottom of Mount Mahamaru, much of which is a deep ocean, you can find the world called Asura. They are also called as Titans, and are always fighting to regain their lost kingdom on the top of Mount Sumero. But are unable to break the guard of the four great kings. The Asuras are divided into many groups, and have no single ruler, but among their leaders of Epicity and Rahu. Let's climb up the Mount Mahamaru, to see how the top side of the Chakawala looks like. Kachim Maharajika, the world of the four great kings is found on the lower parts of Mount Sumero. From human worlds to the top of Mahamaru, this spread across a galaxy. This world is located in the upper surface of the disk, whereas, Asura world is dipped inside the galactic ocean of the disk. Though some of its inhabitants live in the air around the mountain, its rulers reside in Mount Ugandra and are the four great kings of the name, Viruda, Drotarasta, Virupaka, and their leader Vesawana. Let's go one level above to see the world. Tavatimza, the world of the 33 Devas, is a wide flat space on the top of Mount Sumero, filled with the gardens and palaces of the Devas. Its ruler is Devanaminda or in other words Sokra, the lord of the Devas, besides the eponymous 33 Devas, many other Devas and supernatural beings dwell here, including the attendants of the Devas and many heavenly courtesans. The beings of this world are 1,500 feet or 460 meters tall and live for 36 million years. The height of this world is 80 yojanas above the earth. Yama, sometimes called the heaven without fighting, because it is the lowest of the heavens to be physically separated from the tumults of the earthly world. These devas live in the air, free of all difficulties. Its ruler is the Deva Suyama. The beings of this world are 2,250 feet or 690 meters tall and live for 144 million years. The height of this world is 160 yojanas above the earth. Tusita, the world of the joyful devas. This world is best known for being the world in which a bodhisattva lives before being reborn in the world of humans. The beings of this world are 3,000 feet or 910 meters tall and live for 576 million years. The height of this world is 320 yojanas above the earth. Nimanarati, the world of devas delighting in their creations. The devas of this world are capable of making any appearance to please themselves. The lord of this world is called Sunamata, his wife is the rebirth of Visaka, formerly the chief of the Apesakas of the Buddha. The beings of this world are 3,750 feet or 1,140 meters tall and live for 2,304,000,000 years. The height of this world is 640 yojanas above the earth. Paranimita Vasavati, the heaven of devas with power over others' creations. These devas do not create pleasing forms that they desire for themselves, but their desires are fulfilled by the acts of other devas who wish for their favor. The ruler of this world is called Vasavati, who has longer life, greater beauty, more power and happiness and more delightful sense objects than the other devas of his world. The beings of this world are 4,500 feet or 1,400 meters tall and live for 9,216,000,000 years. The height of this world is 1,280 yojanas above the earth. That was the last plane of the desire realm the Kamadhatu. And above this, the form realm or in other words Rupadhatu. Its inhabitants all have a location and bodies of a sort, though those bodies are composed of a subtle substance which is of itself invisible to the inhabitants of the Kamadhatu. 
The beings of the form realm are not subject to the extremes of pleasure and pain, or governed by desires for things pleasing to the senses, as the beings of the Kamadhatu are. The bodies of form realm beings do not have sexual distinctions. Like the beings of the Arapiya Dhatu, the dwellers in the Rupa Dhatu have minds corresponding to the Dhyanas. The mental state of the Devas of these Brahma worlds corresponds to the first Dhyana, and is characterized by observation, Vitaka, and reflection, Vichara, as well as delight, Preeti, and joy, Sukha. According to the level of meditation, there are three worlds. Brahma Parisajya, the counselors of Brahma or the Devas belonging to the assembly of Brahma. Brahma Purohita, the ministers of Brahma are beings, also originally from the Abhisara worlds. And Mahabrahma, the world of great Brahma, believed by many to be the creator of the world, and having as his titles Brahma, great Brahma, the conqueror, the lord, the creator etc. The mental state of the Devas of the Abhisara worlds corresponds to the second jnana. According to the level of meditation, there are three worlds, Abhisara, the world of Devas possessing splendor. Apamanaba, the world of Devas of limitless light, a concept on which they meditate. Paritaba, the world of Devas of limited light. The mental state of the Devas of the Subakina worlds corresponds to the third dhyana. According to the level of meditation, there are four worlds. Anabiratha, Subakina, Apamanasabha, Paritasabha. Sadhavasa worlds, or pure abodes, are distinct from the other worlds. They do not born here through ordinary merit, or meditative attainments. Only the Anagamins born here. They will attain enlightenment directly from the Sadhavasa worlds without being reborn in a lower plane. There are five Sadhavasa worlds. Akanita, world of Devas equal in rank. Sudasi, the clear-seeing Devas. Sudasa, the world of the beautiful Devas. Atapa, the world of the untroubled Devas. And Aviha, the world of the not-falling Devas. Right below Sadhavasa, there are two other worlds, the mental state of these Devas of these Bratfela worlds corresponds to the fourth Jhana. Asanasata, the unconscious beings. And Viafala, the fruitful Devas. A Rupaloka or formless realm, would have no place in a purely physical cosmology. As none of the beings inhabiting, it has no shape or location. This realm belongs to those Devas, who attained and remained in the four formless Samapati of the Arupa Dhyanas. These worlds are connected and spread across the universe. There are four types of Arupadhatu Devas, corresponding to the four types of Arupa Dhyanas, Navazana Nazanayatana, the sphere of neither perception nor non-perception, Akinchanayatana, the sphere of nothingness they literally lacking anything, Vinanan Chayatana, the sphere of infinite consciousness, and Akasanan Chayatana, the sphere of infinite space. That is the high-level explanation of a world system, or a Chakawala. This is the building block, that is being formed to hold the life in the universe. Let's now see a summary of a Chakawala. If you closely look, these realms stacked one upon the next in layers. This means, there is a significant differences between them. And at the same time, somewhat related ones stays closer and the demarcation is less visible. Each world corresponds to a mental state or a state of being, therefore a world is not however a location. It is the coexisting thing that gets changed accordingly with the behavior of the corresponding beings. And is sustained by their karma. In other hand, when the location get distracted, it distracts the beings too, and when all beings in a world disappear, the world disappears too. As the difference is in the state of mind, the physical separation is also not so important. For an instance, though humans and animals partially share the same physical environments, they still belong to different worlds. Because, their minds perceive and react according to those environments differently. This means, if you can change your mind accordingly, the physical separation can be compromised. And, 
This is for the good side as well as the bad side. If you look further, the human worlds are in the middle of these good and bad realms. This means humans can change the direction of their future according to the current mindset, and we are going to discuss about the mind in a separate video to demonstrate the power of a thought. However, these world systems are clustered together and if a command of a human can be spread throughout one trillion world systems, he is called Sama Sam Buddha and, his knowledge will go beyond all these limits. Within his command limit there are four trillion human worlds. One trillion Mahamaras. One trillion Chattamaharijikas so on and so forth. This is how the four trillion plus human worlds are located and let's see more details about this structure in a separate video.